When my daughters were 16, when my son was 16, we took them out and we gave them a, a dinner with dad. That was the thing. It's sort of a, a, a rite of passage. And I take them out to dinner and they get to, they get to pick the, the most expensive restaurant they can think of. Actually, that was their term, not mine. I go, we're going out to dinner. So they pick the most expensive restaurant. But it's a special night. So we, we, we'd go out to dinner. And at that dinner, it's sort of an open night. Okay, what do you want to know? And I will open up my heart to you and uh, talk about almost anything you want. Almost. <laughs> Some of those things, the answer is, it's none of your business. <laughs> at the end of that dinner, they get a promise ring. And for some of you, you may know of a, a promise ring, that a promise ring is a, is, is a promise that you would make. You put on a ring, and it's a promise that you will stay chaste, and you will stay you know, pure for, you know, for your marriage. And that's not this promise ring. Although you should make that promise, because you deserve that promise. As a dad, I'm telling you, you deserve that. It's not me telling you no. It's me encouraging you to say yes. That you want something more, that you want something greater, that you want something. I'm going to give you the words. The world says, you don't have to wait for nothing. Why don't you go now? Satisfy now. And I'm here to tell you, heck no, it's a lie straight from the pit of hell. You deserve this life. But that's not what this promise ring is. The promise ring is our promise to you. When you wear this ring, it's got the sign of the Alpha and the Omega on the ring. It's a family ring. James Avery. R82, go ahead and look it up, beautiful. And on the inside of the ring, I've inscribed family. And I give them this ring and I say, I wanna, I wanna tell you something, I really want you to pay attention because you may not get it right now. This is my promise to you. You belong to a family that is larger than you know. What this means is, this is our promise to you that you will never go hungry. Isn't that weird? You will never fail so much in life that you will be homeless. There's too many of us. There's always a couch somewhere. Doesn't mean that you'll that you can that you can you know that we're that we're a bank. That's not what that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying that you will never live under a bridge unless you want to. You'll always have a place. You will never go hungry unless you want to. Do you know what that means? You know why I'm telling you this? I'm telling you this because I want that to be a springboard in your life. I want you to have confidence in yourself that you could never fail so much in this life that you would not take a chance and go for it. That's what this promise ring is. Whether they understand it or not at 16, I don't know. But it means a lot to me. And, I, and, and all of my kids have said the same thing. It's, it's spread for my family now. That promise ring is the same ring you get when you get brought into the family. When you become a card-carrying member of the family. When you get baptized, that ring is put around your heart. And God makes a promise to you that you will never be so far away from me that I would be gone. I'm your dad. I bring you to the family. And you can bet I'm right behind you. Constantly being that dad, obnoxious dork dad that says, over here, over here, over here. Learn to hear my voice. And I'm going to tell you the greatest example we ever had about a person that tapped into that dad thing that said, Dad, I don't know if I can do this. Matter of fact, I choose not to. What do you want from me? Which is what we should say. And that's him, our oldest brother, our Lord and our Savior. He did the exact same thing. And the reason why we're talking about Dad tonight, the cost of discipleship, that you tap in to the strength that he had when he was in the garden. You look it up, it's in Mark. He gets on his face, and it says that he was so stressed out, he's sweating blood. He's at that point where he has to make a decision. I'm about to be very alone here. What do you want me to do? And he cries out, and he says, Dad, Abba, which means Papa. Daddy, dad, not by my will, but by your will. How about you? When we go to adoration tonight, I want you to come to the Father in a way, hopefully, maybe you've never come before that says, I want something deep. I don't want... I don't want what I've had before, wherever that's been. I want something more. I want family. I want to know what that ring means, Dad. Come into my life, Papa. Come into my life and give me the strength in my life to live the way that you want to live. I love you, Dad. God bless you. Thank you so much.
Thank you.